you have a, um, a problem going on right now in America where the unemployed are starting to lose their benefits on a massive scale because there's no jobs. Unbeknownst to people, if you, if you watch the mainstream media, they'll say, oh, you know, unemployment rate dropped to 9.5 or 9.5%, I think it was. And what they failed to tell you is about 7.9 million jobs since this downturn began have been lost permanently and that they're not coming back and that people still can't find work. So they want to put this, they quote unquote, uh, want to put this job bill through, this $50 billion job bill in order to restore people's unemployment benefits so that uh, they're okay, so that they can still consume, so they can still put food on the table. And, and my thing is, Griff, is if you take a look and you read all this stuff, you know, you got the lefties saying, oh, it's the, the guys on the right that are, that, are, that are holding it up, but the guys on the right are saying, well, we've proposed that, you know, if only they just take it out of the unused TARP money, uh, then we're, we're, we're cool with that, but no sense in, in, in causing any more debt because uh, we have unused, untapped resources already, and the Dems are saying, no, you can't use that, that's wrong. But in the grand scheme of things, who cares? We're already so far gone. The, the system is already irreparable. They know this. So you got to question, why are they holding this up? Are they intentionally trying to crash the system? Yes, someone is intentionally crashing the system. And let me tell you why. Let me say this again. This is complicated to follow. I'll, I'll try my best to, to cut off all the corners and make it as simple uh, as, as I possibly can so people will understand what I'm saying. Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, had nothing to do with the, with the collapse of the monetary system. They've lied to us about that. The American banking had nothing to do with the collapse of the monetary system. It was something else. You had conditions that were, that were primed, ready for it. You had conditions throughout the world that that were ready for something. If if you hit them, they would they would be in trouble. So the the, the lay of the land was susceptible, put it that way. But the real reason our monetary is collapsing worldwide and in the United States is the Leo Wanta matter. W-A-N-T-A, -A, Leo, L-E-O. His real name is Lee, E, middle initial, E, Wanta. Ambassador, Reagan. Reagan assigned him to bring the Soviet economy down. There were a number of men involved in the program. They bought and sold ruples. The first money came out of the Treasury, Some, something like $150 billion has been reported to Wanta as working money, working capital. They bought and sold. They did inside dealings. They devaluated. They, they caused the Russian economy to collapse because they had billions to start with to chip away at the, at the uh, economy. You've never heard anybody, anywhere, any media, tell you why the Soviet economy collapsed. Well, I'm telling you, this is, this is why. After they... One other thing I must inject here. Other countries, England, Germany, France, uh, other countries, Saudi Arabia, other countries put uh, money into the program to bring the Russians down. After they succeeded in bringing it down, they had $27 trillion sucked out of world banking, $27 trillion off the books. You cannot take $20, $27 trillion off of world books, banking books, without repercussions. Wanta tried to put the money back in the Treasury, and he was blocked. I'm, I'm oversimplifying it now. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people made a lot of profit on this, but, but there was enormous trillions that should have gone back into foreign countries and uh, American uh, Treasury. They didn't. It was blocked. Not by Wanta. Wanta went into court, and their court record showing that he wanted to pay the state of Virginia taxes on the money, a, a, a trillion dollars, and it was blocked. 
uh, I put up court documents on a website that everybody can see. It's a PDF file talking about uh, the uh, 2007 court appearance in Alexandria, Virginia, where the judge refused to hear the case. And Wanta is pleading in 30, 40 some pages of documents that the money has to go back into the Treasury. Well, he was blocked and blocked, and the Obama administration blocked it, the Bush administration blocked it, and they went after Wanta. They put him in jail. They did everything to this poor man. He was a patriot. He is a patriot. He's a good guy. I, I think he's uh, very sincere. He's a, he's a good American. He was blocked and accused of everything under the sun. Recently, there was a settlement, uh, $4.5 trillion, that was promised, the government promised to Wanta that, that that money would be set aside. Money to go to foreign governments, England, Germany, France, to uh, pay them their initial payments and profits on the deal. It was transferred from the People's Bank of China to the Bank of America in Richmond, Virginia, where Wanta had his Amero Trust offices. After the $4.5 trillion reached the Bank of America here, it was intercepted by the Federal Reserve with Troutman Sanders Law Firm in Richmond. They put pressure on Bank of America and took the $4.5 trillion that belonged to Wanta. The courts had had admitted and had certified that the money belonged to Wanta. They took it and transferred it to J.P. Morgan Chase in New York. And the money was distributed. It did not go back into the Treasury. It did not go to foreign banks. In recent time, I think because of that, um, Obama, through executive order, signed a document allowing Interpol, the international police, to come into the United States and Virginia and Richmond to find out about that money. And I, I have used the term before, this is the way it was given to me, they came in, Interpol came in to kick ass, as Obama said, to track down that money that was scheduled to go other places, but it disappeared uh, through the Federal Reserve. It did not go back on the books. So there's another $4.5 million off the books while we're collapsing. Wanta has always wanted to put that money back in the Treasury. He said so in court documents. The judge ordered him to pay tax on the $27 trillion, but the government will not give him the $27 trillion. They will not allow it to flow through banks. They steal it. <laughs> so people, that is what's happening to the world economy. England is furious. Germany is furious. And that's why Interpol is over here. Uh, there, I, I think... Uh, we have indications that they they uh, set up camp at Bank of America down here in Richmond. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. They uh, they are looking uh, hard at these people, at Bush, at the individuals, at Biden, at Obama. Uh, so there is quite a a play going on behind the scenes. You're not you're not privy to the to the uh, exciting um, daily activities of Interpol looking at the people that are running our country today. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Christopher Story in England is reporting a lot of this. He is the only person that's reporting it. He gets it right a lot of the time. Sometimes he gets it wrong, but he's more right than wrong generally. The Queen is really ticked off. Uh, England, Germany, France, Saudi Arabia, uh, they're, they're really ticked off. I understand. That is my understanding. It is it is about as secretive as the chemtrail program. You will you will not find too much um, uh, day to day activity on this on the internet or anywhere else for that matter. You will never find this in the media. You will never find it, but it's ongoing every day. So you see, the people are deltas in the brave new world. We're we're deltas. We're down at the uh, bottom of the pecking order. That's and right. We have to eat dirt every day. And they, uh, they tax us to take these imaginary dollars away from us that they have printed that have no value whatsoever. Um, they can make trillions out of nothing, as they have done before. They can steal it. They can manipulate it. Uh, they can steal it from other countries. Um, 
in your face and then get up 